Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to talk about how you can paint in layers. So this will just be a quick guide. Now in order to make this much easier it's best to have the Node Wrangler installed. So go up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and type in Node. Make sure the Node Wrangler is ticked and you'll find this a lot easier. Now I'll explain more with the scene I've got here. I've just got my painting here and you can see the textures all here. The nodes are set up so there's my texture file into an emission which I use these days because an emission will show you the texture without any effects of lighting. So this is what it will look like in your game engine. So texture into emission into the output and the emission is strength one. Now I want to paint something onto the front here as if it has been literally hand painted onto the wood. So to set that up I will create a new texture. I'll call this paint over and I'll keep the default size but the important thing you must remember is to have the alpha on and to change it to fully opaque. So so set the A to zero. That way, when you add this in, if I press OK now, it's completely transparent. So let's maximize my shader editor and bring in my new texture. I'll just copy this one, in fact, and change it to the paint over. And what I'll need to do is mix these two together. I've got the Node Wrangler installed, so I can press Control shift right click and drag, and that will create a mix node. If you haven't got that, then you'll have to go to Add, Shader, Mix Shader. Now at the moment it's just mixing these two together. Let's see what that looks like. No difference at all because one's an alpha and one's my original texture. So let's choose my alpha texture, make sure it's selected over here in my brushes as well, and just brush onto my object there. Now at the moment it's still mixed between them, but if I use the alpha here and plug that into the factor, you can see that it's changed slightly. But what you have to try and remember is that the alpha always goes into the bottom node of your mix shader. You can see that I'm able to paint on here and I'm actually painting onto this image and not this one. So it's non-destructive. At any point I could just look back at this texture with control shift left click into a viewer node and you can see that texture is still the same. But this one, control shift left click, looks like this. This is the alpha channel so nothing's being visible here but here's the bit that I painted on. So let's go back to our mix shader by holding control and shift and left clicking on the mix shader. If I ever want to erase anything that's on my paint over layer here, I can go to erase alpha. And now if I paint, I can delete the stuff that's on that layer. And you can see down here, when I paint onto it, it deletes it. So if I go, so if I go to my mix now and I want to paint some white paint onto here, I've still got control between the two layers, as you can see here, by changing between the two. So it is a bit fiddly, but once you get the idea of the setup, it's actually very simple. And you can actually add more layers and more layers and more layers above here following this setup. So that's painting in layers as quickly as possible, and hopefully it's helpful. See you next time.